Hello, creators of the internet. My name is Mike McAllister, and I'm here with the Lemon Squeezy crew. And today I'm gonna to show you exactly how easy it is to get started selling digital goods on lemonsqueezy.com. Uh, as you can see here, I've created a creator's guide PDF that I wanna sell as an ebook. And the easiest way to do that is to sell it on Lemon Squeezy. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign up just like a, a new user. So I'm gonna get started by clicking the purple button in the top. I'm going to add my name. I'm going to add an email. And a password. And it's going to ask me to confirm my email. So I'm going to hop over and do that. And now that the email is verified, we can go ahead and create our store. So I'm going to call this uh, Lemon Squeezy Guide and we'll call it lscreatorguide.lemonsqueezy.com. So this is where you can set up your own subdomain name. So anything you want uh, that is relevant to your products, it could be your name, mikemcallister.lemonsqueezy.com, it could be related to your product, um, whatever you wanna do as long as it's not already taken by somebody else. Um, and I'm gonna select the United States for my location and I'm gonna hit create my store. And it's going to ask me to choose a plan here. I can either start with the fresh plan, which is uh, free. Um, as you can see here, these are the details of the fresh plan. Or you can upgrade to the sweet plan, which does have a significantly lower percentage of each transaction. Um, and it does cost $29 a month. There will be more features, uh, advanced features like email marketing and all kinds of advanced stuff coming to the sweet plan. So that might be something to look out for. Um, today, I'm just going to choose the, the fresh plan to get started quickly. And that's how easy it was. Now, all of a sudden we have a store already created. You see here we're on a landing page. It's gonna kind of lead us through the setup of uh, creating a product, sharing a product, uh, and setting up all the rest of the details of our store. So without kind of messing around with any of the other UI, which we'll do in another video, let's just like go right to creating a product, which is what we came here to do. Let's see how quick it is. So I'm gonna hit create product here. It's the first item on our list. And this is gonna pop open uh, an add product panel. This is where we're gonna add all the details of our product. So I'm gonna call this lemon squeezy guide, or let's call it creator guide. Description, um, you can just add a bit of text here. This is what's gonna show on the uh, checkout page, kind of the, your product description. It doesn't have to be super long. And pricing, um, since this is an ebook, I'm just gonna make it a one-time fee, but we also do have the option to make it a subscription payment, which means you could charge a recurring fee over the course of time, which could be, as you can see here, a year, a month, a week, a day, um, whatever you want. And you know, it's, software is a great place for doing subscriptions or memberships, uh, also a great place. But since this is an ebook, it's typically a one-time fee, so we're gonna just go with that. And I'm gonna make my ebook 29 bucks. Uh, you can see here we also have the option to let users charge what, or uh, pay what they want. So that's kind of cool for products maybe where you wanna give it away for free, but allow users to pay kind of like a tip if they want uh, just to download it and show their appreci appreciation. So um, also a, a cool option there. Media, um, so we're gonna add some images to our checkout page so that Customers can kind of get a visual representation of our product. So I'm gonna click that. And um, I have a nice image here. You can see that uploaded the little star, uh, confirms that that's gonna be the, the image that's used to represent it in our product grid. And it's gonna be the first image and all that good stuff. So that's great. Drop your files here. Um, so this is gonna be any files related to your product. So it could be a zip file, <clears throat> excuse me. It could be, uh, you know, if it's a photo pack, you might zip up your photos or if it's a piece of software, um, it could be that as well. It might, if it's an ebook, it might just be just the ebook or a zip file of the ebook and other resources. Um, I'm going to just upload the ebook, the PDF. And you can see here that's gonna upload. And we can move on while that's, while that's uploading. Uh, variants. Variants are a really cool feature um, where um, you can upload multiple versions of the product and charge different prices for it. So think of uh, in this ebook example, you know, one variant, if you have, think of a pricing table with three options, which is what you see often, you know, your first pricing option might be just the ebook. 
The second might be an ebook plus extra resources. And then the third might be you get the ebook, extra resources, and a video course. And you can charge three different prices for those um, and kind of build a nice product offering around that. Um, we won't need variants for um, this uh, ebook since it's a really simple product, but uh, a really powerful feature and something that you should think about how, how you might bundle your products together to, to take advantage of those extra price points. Um, you can see here our product is uploaded now. We have the PDF ready to go. And let's move on, see if there's any other settings that are relevant. Generate license keys. Again, we won't need this for this ebook, um, but really powerful feature if you want to license your software and uh, provide keys to activate your software. Really popular in the software world, but also, you know, you can use license keys for all kinds of stuff for, um, you know, licensing um, uh, stock photography or anything like that. So a lot of use cases there, very powerful feature. Um, but we're going to move on to the next setting, uh, redirect after purchase. So this is helpful if you have maybe a thank you page on your website that you want to send folks to after they've completed a purchase, or maybe you want to send them to uh, the help docs or knowledge base or anything like that. So that could be really helpful um, as well. But we're going to just kind of keep it as is right now. And we're going to, as you can see here, the last thing is to publish our product. So let's go ahead and publish it. And just like that, you see in the background, we have our product now available. And if we click it, you can see all the details that we had there. And let's go ahead and click up here at the top. You see there's a share link. If you click that, this is the window uh, that's going to let you create links to share it to social media and your email campaigns, uh, add it to your website. You can see here the checkout link. Um, that gives you gives users a direct link right to the checkout page which looks exactly like this so they'll be able to see your product see the product details um, and then fill out a quick and secure um, payment form and get the product super quickly so that's very helpful you can customize that by toggling these uh, settings on and off really really helpful and then you would just grab uh, this link here and Again, throw it on your social media, put it in an email campaign. Um, basically, anywhere you can share a link, you can start to share your product links and start getting paid for your products. So that's super cool. Check out Overlay, a little more advanced, but equally as awesome. Um, this lets you effectively sell products on any website. So any, you know, think if you have a WordPress website, you can copy this uh, uh, code snippet here, which is the uh, it's a link and a script. And what it does is effectively, uh, when you click the purchase button, it pops up this overlay, as you see here, and uh, customers complete, can complete a purchase right on your website without even leaving it. They can fill out the card details, pay, and they'll get the files that, um, that you're selling right there on your site, it gets delivered to them seamlessly. Um, so again, super powerful. I think we'll do probably do a video covering this panel in entirety and kind of show you, um, you know, more of the bits and pieces and how to really get the most out of it. But for right now, that's kind of a quick intro to how you get through products off the ground and start sharing them around. So um, I guess uh, one other thing we can do here is look at our store. The store is basically like a storefront um, that you can send customers to. It's a grid of all of your products. As you can see here, we only have one product on there, so it's not super fancy. But again, we will do a video showing you exactly how to design this page beautifully, how you want it, where you can customize the header and change your avatar um, and customize the look and feel of the products. Um, so that's it, I think. Oh, and I just clicked here, as you could see, and you're, you're seeing a preview of what the checkout page looks like. So uh, when customers visit your page, if they use the checkout link, this is exactly what they're gonna see. Beautiful title uh, images. You can have multiple images, by the way. Uh, our little copy uh, copy placeholder, uh, and then the form here on the right. Super secure, super fast, encrypted payments. Um, no need to worry about it. We handle everything for you. Um, and as you can see here, within just a few minutes, we, we put our product up for sale. And um, one other thing to mention is that um, we don't have to even connect our bank account yet. We can start taking sales, and Lemon Squeezy will keep track of all the sales we have, and then once we connect our bank account, we'll get paid out. 
Uh, so that's another super cool feature. You don't have to worry about your bank settings and everything, which we'll cover in another video here shortly, but just super cool how you can get signed up very quickly, start making sales, not even worry about your bank stuff. Uh, just put your product out there and start and start making that revenue. So I hope this was helpful to kind of get started. We're going to do a whole series of videos, but I really wanted to just kind of hop in and show you how simple it was to get started. We have a book for sale and hopefully we start making sales on that. So until next time, again, my name is Mike McAllister and we'll see you soon. See ya.